IndyCar started off their season in St. Pete this weekend, and this race had a bit of everything. Roman Grosjean leading, middle-aged men, Swedes, Dolphins, a lot of wrecks, more cautions than they probably cared for. And you see right here, Scott Dixon on the outside of Felix Rosenquist, and that's not going to work as Felix Rosenquist goes into the wall, which sets up a chain reaction and a massive accident in the back right here. Everything's going crazy, and then you're going to see a Canadian try to be sent into orbit. Let's take a closer look at it here in a second after we see the carnage that is left on the racetrack. They eventually red flag the race. Elliot spins. Devlin DeFrancesco gets hit. He spins around. He's in the middle of the track. Stingray Rob with a hell of a save right here. That's his real name. And then the... Danish snowplow Benjamin Peterson sends Devlin DeFrancesco almost into orbit. Kyle Kirkwood didn't hit enough stuff this weekend, so he felt like he needed to hit Connor Daly too, just for good measure, and sends him around into the wall. And once again, Kyle Kirkwood wanted to do something else this weekend. He tried to fly. Did not work out for him, but hell, he hit the trifecta in terms of incidents this weekend. Here, you have a very uncharacteristic move for Graham Rahal. He didn't crash. Drives away from it. Good job, Graham. You know with Colton Herta on a street course, it's either win or it gets stuck off into the barriers here. Let's see what's going to happen. He's obviously not in a winning position. There's willpower on the inside. Maybe he's going to drive his way up through the field. And nope, ends up in the barriers thanks to willpower. Biggest moment of the race right here. Scott McLaughlin, everyone's championship favorite, everyone's favorite Kiwi, comes out of the pits right ahead of Roman Grosjean, who's still looking for his first IndyCar win. And spoiler alert, he's still looking for his first IndyCar win because Scott McLaughlin punts him off into the corner here, and they're both in the tires. Michael Andretti now had all four cars involved in four instances. Pato awards McLaren, did McLaren things, and died off the final corner, handed the lead to Marcus Erickson, who said thanks, and just drove off, making the Swedes down in the harbor very happy people. And here we have Marcus Erickson coming off the final corner to win the race. Last year's Indy 500 winner starts off this season asserting himself as a championship favorite, maybe? 